good morning good evening good afternoon whichever suitable at the time of which you are watching this video i shubh agarwal welcome you all to a digital era of no corruption so here is my idea of tracking law breakers using rfid i am a student of the international school bangalore and i am currently pursuing my ib diploma in grade 11 so now i present before you a country which is cashless a country which has no corruption a country with automated traffic monitoring and a country with a digital economy as you can see and as you all know how much of bribery and corruption goes on on the streets every time we break a signal or drink and drive we can just hand over a note or we actually do hand over a note to the public servants and they readily accept it however it's long before we bought a change to this and hence i have come up with this revolutionary idea so how does this work as you all know rfid is also known as radio frequency identification is an electronic method used to automatically read data using sensors from small chips which desirable data etched onto them the above diagram shows the architecture of the proposed system however in reality it will be a lot more complex due to installations at various signal the above shown picture is just a sample of one signal a rfid reader will read data from the tag or transponder and then it will transmit it to an interrogator or reader which will process the data from analog to digital signals these digital signals will be read by the computer system and be logged into a data sheet the machine will then process the data and carry out necessary tasks which are explained later on these necessary tasks will be carried out at unprecedented speeds which are way beyond that manually done by mankind so you may be wondering about the technicalities to give you a brief this project was created using simple if then else statements in python however it can be developed in any programming language such as c language java c++ or visual basic as you can see if the driver violates any law he or she will be charged a certain amount of fine from the respective bank account similarly this is applicable for other offenses such as taking u turns over speeding signal breaking etc etc moreover even theft of cars can be handled as sensors can log car data and narrow down the location of the vehicle to an area as small as 100 square meters again i have included one figure which shows you how this rfid works the second one is to depict how small the rfid tag is and how easily it can be fitted in a driving license or in a car the third figure shows the use of if then else in python and how i have included different fines such as rupees 10 rupees 20 or rupees 30 with different violation codes such as for a speed of about 80 kilometers per hour a car will take around 200 milliseconds to to cover a distance between two small sensors and hence that code is zero for a speed of about 160 kilometers per hour it will take less than 400 milliseconds and hence the fine will be rupees 20 similarly for 600 it's rupees 30 and the violation codes which can be changed such as 201 and 401 now comes a sample driving license which i have designed myself this driving license shows on the top left where the rfid tag will be installed and then the usual details of a citizen of our country so what are the benefits there are numerous benefits but i have listed down the most major benefits and the ones which i thought are most important firstly there will be eradication of bribes for breaking signals drink and drive over speeding etc etc 
Secondly, traffic can be monitored and modeled, which was not a possibility till date. Using this model data, roads can be broadened and government agencies can know how much traffic travels from one area to another at which specific time. Such as in Mumbai, in the mornings, there is more traffic from the suburbs towards church gate. However, in the evening, it is the reverse. Hence, this system is extremely helpful in modeling of traffic. Thirdly, there will be a boost in economy, obviously, as this advocates the Digital India campaign and bribery or corruption will greatly reduce. Now, the next point is theft of cars will reduce by almost 90% as each car will be fitted with RFIDs and can be tracked. The only way to escape from this is burning the car or destroying it completely. Next comes fully automated, so there's no possibility of cheating the system or government. Moreover, there'll be less policemen needed to be hired as they need to only make sure that each individual carries a driving license. Next, cheap installation costs. Each RFID tag costs less than 50 rupees and each sensor costs less than rupees 5000. So you can imagine that this whole system will cost less than a CCTV network. And of course, this is more effective than cameras. And the biggest bonus is that RFIDs do not need battery and hence will go on forever without any maintenance. Lastly, this thing can be implemented easily by the government. If demonetization could be done within 50 days and involved 1.252 billion Indians, RFID is going to affect less than 70 million, as currently there are about 60 million car owners in the country. Now comes how I'm going to plan to implement it and execute it. Firstly, the details must be forward, forwarded to the PMO and then approval should be obtained. Next, this should be done in parts and each set the city should be included separately so that it's done in parts and as the image shows many parts working together make one complex system next the system should be tested and of course compliant with supreme court orders and citizens must renew driving licenses and have them installed in cars too within a time span of one month per city now let's look at how i made it a reality so firstly, the planning was done using a pencil and notebook. Next, I did research using Bing for information as I found it little more efficient than Google. But I made use of Google for images. The driving license image was edited and created in Microsoft Paint, which I learned in Viz Juniors. And then the project code was made in Python using simple if then else statements. The presentation was of course done using Microsoft Office PowerPoint and Screenomatic, which are again taught to me by the Wiz Juniors online education kit. So now I'll show you what special features were there in my presentation. Firstly, I used master slide view, which is an advanced and not so frequently used feature of MS PowerPoint to display the RFID logo as you can see it is there on all the slides and if you give more detail you can see that I have included a car speedometer which is pointing at 200 currently if you can see this nextly I have used transitions between slides to make it more immersive and have used animations for different effects also if you can see on every slide i've used word art and made text more immersive so if you see how it works it looks quite attractive apart from that again there are transitions and Yes, animations. Here comes a sample driving license which I created completely in paint.
and then of course I used Google images for these images and I've edited them to so that they fit in perfect boxes and I've applied few effects such as a merge effect for this example so that they blend with the background also I've just changed the layout on each and every slide and the basic design of a speedometer remains the same well I think that's all for now I thank Viz Juniors for giving me this opportunity and I hope to see you all in round 3 thank you very much